welcome to all of you today we are going to discuss the part 3 of the ecology and we'll be discussing here some multiple choice questions which are very important for the upcoming NEET and the AIMS exam the very first question is how much of the chemical energy within the producer as we know very well the producers are the green plants and green plants converts the solar energy into the chemical energy okay so how much of the chemical energy within the producer tissue becomes chemical energy in herbivore tissue now we know very well that uh, the t1 at the t1 tropic level the producers are present and at the t2 tropic level the consumers particularly the primary consumers or i can say herbivores are present okay so the question is how much of the chemical energy within the producer tissue becomes the chemical energy in the herbivore tissue so here the 10% law of the Lindman is applicable and the 10% law of the Lindman says and suggests that always only 10% of the energy moves from the previous tropic level to the next tropic level okay so the answer will be 10% means I want to say according to 10% law of Lindman right the chemical energy 10% of the chemical energy within the producer tissue becomes chemical energy in the herbivore tissue so the answer of the question number one is 10% according to Lindman's 10% law so question number one is having the answer A now coming to the second question animals which occupy same tropic levels are we know very well when we study the different pyramids right we see that uh, there are different tropic levels t1 t2 t3 and t4 and at each tropic level different sort of the organisms are present now here the question is that animals which occupy the same tropic levels are tiger and bees no correlation tiger is at the topmost level okay it is the top carnivore right so tiger and bees it is not a right combination deer and bees yes of course deer and bees are actually belonging to the same tropic level crow and cow no there is no correlation between the crow and the cow and they are not found at the same tropic level they are found in the different tropic level and snake and earth no so the best combination uh, which goes here is the deer and the bees so deer and bees occupy the same tropic level so the question number two will be having the answer b that is deer and b so i am marking the b answer for question number two now the question number three if the if the co2 content remember if the co2 content of atmosphere is as high as 300 ppm now we know very well that ppm means what parts per million and if we convert this 300 ppm into percentage it is 0.03 percent so what is the percentage of the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere you can call it as 0.03 percent or you can call it as 300 ppm and it is the normal concentration of the pp that is the co2 so if the co2 content of the atmosphere is as high as 300 ppm as high as 300 ppm means 300 ppm is the normal level of the CO2 found in the atmosphere and in percentage it is 0.03% all plants would be killed no it's a normal concentration of the CO2 so plants will not be killed plants would grow for some time and then die no again because it is the normal concentration plants would not grow properly plants would grow properly because it is the normal concentration of the CO2 the plants would thrive well so yes at this concentration of the CO2 in the atmosphere the plants will thrive well so the question number three is having the answer d now question number four the stratospheric ozone depletion leads to as we know very well because of the use of the chlorofluorocarbons and many other chemicals the ozone layer the protective ozone layer above us is depleting at a rapid rate and it is said that in the coming future when the ozone will be depleted then the UV rays will be straight falling down on the earth's surface and thousands and lakhs of the people will be suffering from the skin cancers 
as well as the persons will be suffering from the cataract of the eyes. So the the stratospheric ozone depletion leads to global warming, increase in the incidence of skin cancer and cataract. Yes, I have said because of the ozone depletion, there will be many cases of the skin cancer as well as the person will suffering from the cataract, forest fires and sound pollution. So the perfect answer which goes in the favor of this question is the increase in incidence of skin cancer and cataract. So the question number four is having the answer B. Okay. Now, question number five. The earth and atmosphere in which organism live is called. Always remember the earth and atmosphere. The earth and atmosphere in which organism live is called as ecosystem, biosphere, biosynosis or none. So the answer must be biosphere. Why? Because we know very well that the whole earth, the, I have given the uh, hint for the question number five, that the whole earth is a huge ecosystem. Basically, the whole or the entire earth is a huge, huge means a big ecosystem and it is called as the biosphere. So earth and the atmosphere in which the organism live is called as. So we know very well that the whole earth is treated as a biosphere. So answer must be B, that is the biosphere. Question number five is having the answer B. Okay. So these were the questions based on the ecology. Though the ecology seems to, the ecology topic seems to be very much easy, but the most complex type of the questions come from the ecology. So be prepared for this. Thanks a lot for watching me. If you liked this video, you can share this video and you can take the screenshot of this video. Thanks a lot.